Yes, yeah, so well, Semifer, he's very new. He's like the German guy, right? Um, Where the hell did he go? He vanished. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're going to have a right to get We're going to have Focus versus uh, Captain L. Uh, the classic OG matchup. Yeah, the OG one. You know, there's that period, that fall from grace, where Focus was, you know, he fell from grace. Yeah. He wasn't doing too hot. And now he's good again. So seeing these yeah. matches are fun. I think the last time I ever commented on this very spot, Focus actually took it against Captain L with Rob. Against Pikachu. So we're maybe going to see something similar. Where in the bracket is this? Is this early? One? I I don't know. I think Jason. Jason seen winners or winner semis. Winners or winner semis. Still winners, right? We'll see. We'll leave it winners. We'll leave it for winners for now because this chat this uh, this tournament's going really fast. So we're gonna leave it on um, winners, winners is and, safe. Yeah, winners is safe. And then if they keep going, then we can assume it's like the best of three. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. So I like I said, Rob. So we saw the Sheik earlier, and now we're gonna see uh, uh Rob. Hi from Kenshiro. Well, that's you, Kenshiro. Is that you, Kenshiro? Ace Professor? That's cool, man. Good to uh, good to know it was you here. But yeah, I typically think that um, Focus has much more comfort going Rob against this matchup rather than, uh, I think, Sheik. Typically because, like, they're both super high mobility. It's probably going to be hard to nail down and catch Pikachu and whatnot. While Rob has these really volatile options that when performed and landed, you could probably get really early kills on him. So... Yeah, typically that's why I think the Rob matchup is probably a bit better in this situation. Well, the fact that the gyro kind of just makes it, it makes Thunder Jolt kind of useless. Yeah, it makes Thunder Jolt more of just like a, an annoying kind of poking tool. Not so much a projectile you'd have to really worry for. The gyro is by far the more threatening projectile that you're going to have to wanna watch out for typically. Uh, but yeah, oh my gosh, speaking of nice gyro, that was a really cool thing to catch him out of the air as he tried to quick attack. Gets the forward throw. Got to see what it comes here. Tries to get the reverse up smash. Not going to not gonna land here. Sometimes the reverse up smash. Sometimes was the jump cancel up smash that was intended to be like a reverse up air. Yeah. So you're hitting with the back of the tail. Uh, but yeah, the timing on that is tight. So you yeah, got to be careful. to be in the air. Yeah. Looking like a strong lead coming out here from Captain L. As long as Captain L can keep the lead, this looks really good for him. It's when it's when focus, you know, Jason gets something really ridiculous, uh, is when it looks really bad, and that's when it kind of encourages Captain L to make a little bit more um, rash decisions that could potentially harm his gameplay, and we don't really want that. Oh, the, the jump air dodge that avoid the grab. Yeah, the jump air dodge to avoid the grab, really good. And this is one of the few fighting games, well, fighting games, haha, but one where you can grab people out of the air. So, just due to the nature of how Smash works as being so floaty and in air, it's uh, typically something where uh, we're going to see it. So you're going to have to air dodge to kind of evade this. Here he's got the gyro in the hand. He keeps you grabbing it, gets the gyro. Wow, oh. look at that. It's like he plays pool at each spot. Look at the look at the angles. Look at the phenomenal angles. He gets that. He gets a solid angle. And wow, the pulse on Captain L for being able to grab him for the down smash. Oh. Oh. I didn't take it. <laughs> no, that didn't take it. Those other jolts were a little bit more annoying there because uh, Rob has only so much fuel, but there it is. That's the up smash. He's at 147, though, so it looks like uh, Captain L's going to have to think really quick on his feet if he wants to end up taking the stock super fast right here. But what's it going to be, though? That was cheeky. Hitting from the bottom of uh, with the up, up, uh, up air. That was nice. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Yes, no. Oh, there it is. Just whiffed a little bit. Oop. Ah, smart play from Focus here. Stalling a little bit. Nice. The backer catch going to be great. Hmm? Oh, that's weaker than I thought it was. Oh. I wonder if he caught him out. I wonder if that was uh, how that I, was really weird. I think Jason probably thought he had a jump. Yeah. Because that's what you were saying. Kinshiro, that was really nice. Any play ever? Well, of course. These guys are phenomenal players. Every play they do is really nice. Unless they really mess up, then I'll call them out. Man. But yeah, you know what's a treat is if you if, if Pax isn't here and you get to comment on one of Nick's sets. You know, I don't you've never seen Let's Tickle or Semifer. They're really cool. Nope. 
So, after this match, I'm going to tell you some fun Smash facts that you probably don't know that we kind of discovered recently. You could say it's for fun. Yeah. <laughs> for fun. I wonder how the online lobbies are going to work. We're, we're never going to know. But, uh, yeah. Look at the coverage. As he falls with the Nair, he covers up with the front hitbox, then gets a jab to cover himself to keep it safe. That's so cool. And you auto cancel the Nair, it looks super clean. Oh, hi, Cantrip. Uh, he's trying to do an empty jump grab. I'm sh I hope you're still having fun wherever you are. I believe you were in Mexico, yes? I hope it's a good time for you, dude. Don't worry, nothing broke. Yet. <laughs> yeah, wink. Woo! Spot, that was three spot dodges in a row. Okay, so that's the thing I'm going to explain to you uh, about the new game. I guess I can do it now until there's something exciting. They buffed spot dodges nerf grabs. And then, wait, how do they buff spot dodge? More time invincibility. Oh, but it goes down as you keep using it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, the initial spot dodge, it's like you can spot dodge twice in a single grab. So, like, there's more, there's more time here. That match ended up did taking up quite a bit of a while, but again, I'm telling you right about it. It's, I think that what has to happen is Captain L needs to play very consistently, while Focus has to kind of fish for the really good reward off a of punish or something to catch him off guard and then hold the lead. So we're gonna see the run back to Animal Crossing One, otherwise known as Smashville. So, yeah. Ooh, nice solid punish. Triple down tilt, gonna do 20%. Only 1% more than what Cloud would do if he landed sword for B. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Cantrip, do you remember the time when we got, I got really drunk and, and in the morning I, I just was in a clean mood and I cleaned the whole auto show? So that was a good time. That So maybe we'll do that for you. But if not, actually, honestly, it's not so bad. It's just really hot in here. Really, really hot. So it feels like it's getting burnt down. Yeah, so it feels like it. Yeah, there you go. It, it feels like it's being burnt down. Oh. Up tilt, and here we go. Try to get the beep loop there, but the Nair is obviously going to be a really good combo breaker. Uh, I, just very quickly with you, I don't think like uh, Pikachu Nair is as good as a combo breaker, say like Luigi or Mario or Yoshi Nair, but it's oh, still good. Not nearly. I think it's frame five, or yeah. six, which is a terrible combo breaker. It's not even a combo breaker at that point. It's like Cascade or something. Huh? It's not even a combo breaker at that point. It's a like Cascade or something. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's well, my jokes. Cheesy. <laughs> it's it's all good. Don't worry. Your jokes, your jokes are clean. I've heard much worse here, and even then, it wasn't bad. Hold up. Really good on the landing. Do you see the patience in this man? <laughs> the patience in this man, waiting for it to come down, getting the shield, able to get the punish here. And as Captain L, he's really creative ways to do quick attack to get back on the stage. His focus is kind of being oppressive. He's down smash. I like to see this sort of stuff. Oppression. I love to see oppression. Yeah, you love to see oppression? Yep. You love being oppressed, Cameron? No. No. I like Not seeing other people being oppressed by me. Yeah. Is this why you played Bayonetta before? Yes. Nice. Oh, okay. nice down smash. Cover the range. Oh, wow. That was so crazy. But that's not going to do it. Really? Focus is holding the lead once again. This is wild. His, his uh, Rob is just playing so on point right now. Rob's heavy. Rob's a big boy. Rob's a big boy. Mimi big boy. Yep. yep. You know how it's like uh, in Smash they always theorize that it's toys fighting each other? You know, it's like little trophies. I almost feel like Rob wasn't a trophy. It was just literally the Rob toy. That's why he's so heavy. He's yeah. just the actual giant Rob toy. He's like, I am the actual toy. Here. I am the actual toy here. And that's why I not only am I so tall compared to others, and yeah. Oop. Look at the gyro play. I, it's so crazy. Like, even when you look like you're playing defensive, like you're running away all the time or thing, there's still a lot of like what comes to it because you don't want to get hit by anything. But that takes a, a lot of skill and focus to still able to pull it off while making sure he still tacks on the percent. Oh my, the spot dodge. Mm, so clean, so clean. Guess he tries to get something off of the, the falling forwarder. 
And there's another forwarder, Pikachu forwarder, going to send Focus out. 38% here. This looks pretty clean for Captain L, I think. He's going to need um, a little bit more here if he wants to get oh, some done. He's going to be able to catch up pretty easily. That's kind of what Pikachu does, but he's getting that kill. Yeah. Pax, what's up? You can hop on after when you're ready. This Rooney, you know him. He has red hair now. Oh, nice tat, man. Holy. Shout out. No, I've never seen the tat. I want a tat now. I'm jealous. Oh. No, I said Focus, Genshiro. It's just they sound similar, so maybe you thought I said Focus. But I said Focus. That was a whole meme back in the day. Oh my gosh. Got One it. more and that's it, eh? I think that's probably oh, going to yeah, take it. Totally. Yeah. One more, that's it. That's all. He's got to get a read, though, I think. I don't think it's guaranteed. Oh my. Can you get a Thunder here? Okay, reverse up. Okay, that's smart. Oh, nice. See, everyone's like, wow, Corrin's the character that can do that. But you know, Rob did it first. Pretty yeah. sure. Is this Corrin? You don't have to wait for it to come all the way around. It's just. They're on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I meant like the back area that propels. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rob did it first. I really, I think it's best of three, Len, but I wasn't too sure. That's why I actually put it there, because the tournament's going so quickly, and we came kind of late, so I actually don't know how far in the tournament we are. So I just, if the players themselves don't know, I just assume that's it. Wow. Yeah, this is a best of three. That's it. Congratulations for Focus for taking them out. This is wild stuff. Yeah. All right, Rooney, if you want to hang out with if, uh, with people, let me with, know. With people, generally. Yeah, yeah, with people, generally. We're going to have Pax hop in here. Pax, get your practice in for, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta slip in here somehow. Like at like Spike Fire's picture, it's so phenomenal. No, I love him too. That picture's phenomenal. 